out in the air as yeah. well. Uh, they use it for like movement, and then they charge Ooh, like shot that. like exactly like that at a close range. Yeah, it's like not only movement, but yeah, the B reverses and things like that just gonna help them through. And especially like once your once your shield starts getting a little bit lower, they're gonna use it to like try and shield break you. Yeah, and it does shield break oh, you. Oh boy, does it shield break <laughs> you! <laughs> all right, he threw the grenade right back at him. He's gonna utilize all the projectiles in this matchup. Uh, it might actually go in his favor to be able to use these bombs just like that. Caused him to drop shield and they got the charge shot into Zare. We're still extending this. Wow, taking all the way to the other side of the stage by just getting hit by a charge shot and then converting off of it. Exactly. And oh, another little bomb for you. Oh, that's right. We're going to see so many explosions. Yeah, for sure. Oh, rolling into another charge shot. My, man, Samus. And he's using those bombs once again, again forcing him to roll. Oh, F smash onto Allied Shield, but a dash attack going to clank with that charge shot. And now we see projectiles coming Ooh. back. Uh oh, <laughs> that could have been a bad one right there, though. He actually clinked with the, the grenade just to catch it and gonna jump on fair. We've seen that for 10 years, man. Sam is <laughs> always doing that. Oh, but catching Ally with the up air. Of course, Snake being a, you know, a little heavy, he's not gonna <laughs> go up right, right away. That's exactly what you're talking about, where they can charge it in midair and cancel it. Ally probably thought he was gonna cancel. Doesn't matter, though, gonna get four smash right there. Yeah, yeah the mix up game with Charge Shot is insane. Yeah, and they for sure. really take it to another Shoot. level. Shoot. And again, catching him, I, I, I mean, how, he's barely missed a single one. Using the missile too, and he just keeps putting Ally in these situations where he forces him to roll, and Ally's taking the bait every single time and getting punished hard for it. I mean, even when Ally tried to recover high, YB had a read on it, and he tried to punish him. He had the, he actually had the correct read, just wasn't spaced correctly. Yeah. But down air gonna, or down tilt gonna get parried by. Now it's Ally's turn. Ooh, with the Nikita striking around at the ledge right there, and now C4 also on the ledge. But of course he's gonna see it, avoid it, and use that little tiny bomb just to pop himself over. Yeah, they, uh, Samus as well utilize the little bombs. Sim Similar to how uh, Pac-Man's will use the fire hydrant. Just yeah. Give them a little bit of extra space yeah, or just stall out. Exactly. Stalling out a lot of the time with it to make sure that they don't land in anything risky. That C4 once again on the top right platform. Oh, directional air dodging. Expecting a back air, but there's the back air. That kill? I swear he was living there. All right. Maybe unfortunate DI or either way, he's going to lose that second stock. Oh, I like that. Picking up the grenade and then doing exactly what snakes do. Just running an ally and shielding. But getting F tilted and YB going to drop his first stock. Yeah, that'll be able to take that. Close it out because things were starting to get a little bit risky. Three stocks to one. That's not what you want at all. Wow. Charge shot on Ally Shield into a down tilt. But what is this conversion on C4? Yeah, I was about to say, okay, it's Ally's turn to extend a combo. Already got him up to 83%. He had just lost his stock, man. Now things looking okay, but a good up B combo. Mm -hmm. Of course, that screw attack going to put Ally high enough to the point where uh, YB isn't a threat of getting punished after landing. Mm -hmm. But Nikita just sharking. YB. Yeah, but you saw him immediately go to the ledge with his tether. Does, doesn't want to let anything uh, happen that doesn't need to, man. That Nikita was looking scary. Mm -hmm. More charge shots coming out, but getting the Nair one and then being able to just follow up. But a down air and an Ooh. up air from YB. Yeah, finally getting some hits in. It looked like it was going all allies' way suddenly in that bomb, putting him in a good position to get an up air, but good on YB to escape the situation. That's right. Just using the explosion, taking the trade, and really moving it, trying to use it uh, in his favor. But we see a down throw into F tilt. Not going to kill from across stage. Why? Ooh. Oh my god, and another charge shot just to do a little bit of shield pressure, forcing Ally to back off so he can't pressure him too far. And you saw him pivot away knowing Ally was going to try to dash in right then. Mm -hmm. He has this man's number. Yeah, being able to avoid that uh, up till two, but charge shot into down till, wow. Yeah, he did it before too because he knows if that sh if that charge shot hits his shield, that shield poke is going to happen from the down till every oh, time. you're so right. He's yeah, so yeah. exposed. <laughs> oh, oh, the grenade. <laughs> Cover him, man. Trust the items in this game. Ooh, almost a dash tech definitely would have been able to take the stock right there. Oh, but the C4, <laughs> YB must have forgotten it was on the platform. Samus is so tall, man. That thing's definitely going to connect with her. If he was playing like Ices or Pichu, Pikachu, he would have been A-OK, -okay, but that's a tall girl. And that's a second C4. That's just two C4s in a row that, that uh, Ally's been able to land onto YB. Yeah, and YB, ooh, going for a risky up B. Could have been a long extension from uh, Snake right there. Luckily for him, only going to get away with a small punish. Oh, but being able to extend the, uh, the hitbox with another grenade. And now... Yeah. Well, Ally is seeing at a very dangerous 175%. His own grenades uh, are going to be a threat Ooh. against him at this point. <laughs> he had to dodge so much stuff in, man. You can't dodge everything. He jumped. He air dodged. Uh, I mean, come on. Let my man land. Well, he can land on the next game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's going to have to because game one's definitely going to go over to YB with some excellent conversions. But uh, Ally definitely was slowly but surely bringing that one back. That's right. I, I just, I mean, I'm a huge Ally fan. I love whenever Ally gets an opportunity to uh, pick Snake and really show what he's made of. You know, really a big throwback to the Brawl days. Yeah. Uh, but YB is just, you know, really making me a fan out of him as well. Yeah. I've never seen a Samus move like this. 
Okay, and there's a Mario. That's exactly what I was thinking was going to happen because the bombs were actually helping YB more, I feel like, in that situation. But with Mario, you can also cape the projectiles oh, that Samus true. is going to be trying to put that's out. True. Yeah, so smart play by Ally right here, and we'll see how it can work out in game two. That's right, running right back to Pokemon Stadium, too. And now charging up a flood. Both players actually charging up uh, their moves. Yeah, exactly. He's got that flood to just take over some stage control, maybe get a Gimp. If she tries to do something like that and misses, he can flood her off the stage and get an early kill. That's true. And you see a back air on to YB Shield, but both players again are resorting to charging their specials, running off. What is the threat? Whew. All right, Ally wanted something there, but YB just didn't give anything up. Went so low underneath the stage, so a cape wasn't going to be an issue. Even if he hit him, he could yeah. still up be right to it. That's right. Even after you're expending some resources, YB still looked really confident that he was making yeah. it back. But, ooh, trying to get a platform extension. And, of course, YB going really low again. Yeah, that, and you can tell he's keeping in mind that cape scenario. Not going to let himself only be able to up B and then, you know, get pushed in the opposite direction. Yeah, and it looks Ooh. like that whenever uh, YB uses screw attack, he can actually interrupt the screw attack and just uh, immediately latch onto ledge. Right. He's doing it really well, keeping himself safe here. Ooh, down air on the shield, but it does get punished. Okay, a platform extension almost able to catch that, and the back air almost, but going to run right into that grab scenario and going to get edge guard. No, good on him to come aggressive, but YB still taking back over. Oh, and using the bombs to just Ooh. cover the ledge, putting Ally in like a disadvantage situation. Right, and you saw him go for the tilt too, trying to catch it at the same time as the bomb explosion so you'd be able to, you know, hit him and get the bomb in. Oh, yeah, that would probably take a stock too. Right, especially if it spikes, man. That's a big rip. Ooh, okay, but using the nair and getting back to stage. Now YB charging up his charge shot. Yeah, and that's the first time we've really seen him throw so many of them because you can tell he's once again respecting that cape. Yeah, he's really just trying to keep uh, the distance between him and Ally, and then we'll even, I think we'll eventually start seeing him use it to approach. Yeah, yeah. Got to be careful with that, though. And Ooh, Ally putting out the fireball. Good on YB to save his jump, though. Oh. The footstool. But, Magnet hands, boy. Yeah, Magnet hands, of course, going to keep YB in this game. And F you can... Ooh, F tilt on the shield. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm surprised he threw it there, because I was going to say you can tell YB is keeping in mind that Ally can cape that at any moment, and he's not shooting it at long range, because that's way too much time to give Ally to wind that up. Very, very true, and you can even see with like within a specific distance, he's using his Zare instead of like any other yes. projectile, because you can't cape the Zare. Right. All right, going to slowly make his way back onto the stage, stalling it out really long to make sure he gets exactly how he wants to get on there, and he got a full charge on that shot. But smart ally using the flood to just keep pushing YB off stage. Ooh, almost perfect timing from ally with the up smash right there. Okay, running his shielding. <laughs> He's expecting us, the charge shot. He's really expecting it, but we're going to see a back throw. Oh my gosh, did you see the smooth criminal movement that he did right there too? <laughs> just to set himself up for the pivot grab, but doesn't matter. The back air going to be the thing that clutches that out for the first stock. Mm -hmm. Of course. Ally starting off very aggressive, immediately going for ledge, doing a second <laughs> jump into Nair, pushing YB a little bit further back. But we got stalls, man. He can do that all day. Oh my goodness, he went forward, back, forward, back, and he's going to use the charge shot to protect himself to get on the stage. Down there, finally connecting. Mm -hmm. Pushing him. Oh, almost all the way into the blast zone, too. <laughs> but using a charge shot, he's going to stall out just a little bit longer. Now he's got that charge shot on deck. Oh my goodness, YB, he can play off stage all day looking like a Wii Fit trainer. Doesn't care at all if he's on stage or not. And he's yeah. coming in aggressively too. When is Samus uh, able to do this <laughs> in, <laughs> in, in her Metro games? I don't remember that part. But back and you see it now. What? The we live in. Air dodge. And again, and he jumps out of that every time seeing it. If he charges that for too long, he will get pushed into the blast zone. So he does let go uh, and just uses those little missiles to get himself to the ledge here. Oh, that was Ally's opportunity Ooh. because that was a re-grab on the ledge where we see another forward air connecting. Onto Ally, and the damage is slowly rising. Yeah, man, the problem with this is just Ally is not able to capitalize on these edge guards. Oh, but the up air will take it. Uh, YB just way too tricky out there. Yeah, so slippery and just so hard to pin down. As soon as he gets like in a ledge situation, he'll just willingly go off the stage and say, you know what, you can take the ledge, I'll take a couple seconds and I'll be back. Yeah, exactly. And he takes like a couple minutes out there and then comes <laughs> back. Doesn't care at all. These bombs covering the ledge once again. Now he catches Ally's jump, but YB not really there to punish too hard or even try and convert. But ooh, ooh going for the cape, and there's that cape you were talking about. Yeah, man, and he needs to do that because he's having so much trouble edge guarding. He finally got one chance to almost make it happen, and he went for it. Oh, fair. Drag down <laughs> fair, but the platform going to save Ally. Yeah. Oh, we're charging that thing up, man. Don't land on it. Oh, and he went for the air dodge. I'm so surprised the nair that he went for did not connect, or the back air. Yeah, I don't think uh, YB was ready for that as well, but again, covering the ledge with these bombs. Right, and wanted a down smash to punish too, but not able to get it. Now Mario slowly working his way back in with a screw attack coming on up. Great DI from Ally. Even though he was at 180%, he's still able to live. Ooh, 
we're extending this thing all over the place. Gonna get a back air too. Can we get an edge guard opportunity? There's a nice to a forward air, but it doesn't send wow. Ivy down. That's so unfortunate for Ally. D d he just came out of the blast zone with that, man. He come in so aggressive, but I, and I think that was supposed to be a pivot up smash right there where he accidentally dash attacked in the opposite direction. Okay, well, Zaring back to the stage, and we see the up smash. Gonna yeah, get yeah, punished yeah, by yeah, a down yeah. tilt. Got a little bit too hungry there. And you saw YB wanted to charge up his shot, but he already had the full thing, so it's just gonna launch it out of there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, careful here. Okay, taking him back to the stage. Now YB able to escape the ledge. Charge shot into dash attack. 49%? Yeah, that full charge man hit him right in the face. It didn't even make a sound. He was so close. Good up air right here. Trying to make something happen. He's got to get the stock. Yeah, but Ally just having so much trouble taking these stocks away from YB. He's playing so slippery, so hard to pin down. And then on top of that, he just has great Ooh. DI, which is keeping him in the game. Yeah, Ally's getting like one opportunity to hit. Oh god, this charge shot into Zare. What's it gonna be? Okay, okay, good on Ally to go really high, seeing that YB was trying to cover the low option. Yeah, we're gonna see a forward throw, and that's gonna put YB back off stage using the flood, buying some a little bit of time. Yeah, YB, man, taking his time as well. Just gonna go. What was that mix up? The we haven't even seen that one yet. The wall jump into charge shot. Oh my goodness. This is looking so scary. The missile right in the air. He caught him exactly where he was trying to land, and now Ally trapped on the ledge with these bombs in his face. Gonna air dodge back on it. Somehow got in there with an up air too. Okay, but now Ally on his last stock. Winner's side life on the line. 163%. Hey, man, we've seen Rage Mario do stuff, but I don't know about in Ultimate. Okay, but I mean, this is how it starts. Yeah, man. Oh, that bomb interrupting the combo that he had. His back throw gonna be able to... Oh, up throw? Excuse oh. me. I think he was DI'ing wrong too. Maybe thinking of back throw himself. But uh, yeah, gonna go up off the top. I mean, that's...